Here I am in High Springs, Florida, next to a cemetery. And what do we have across the street? A big sinking down spot. I went and probed it out and there was just one small section about five feet square that's got some kind of a dump going on in there. So I'm going to go dig a test pit. Okay, now we're down in the low spot. For some reason this is the only spot that has any glass. Two and a half feet down and I'm starting to find glass. Uh, that's the most recognizable piece of glass I've ever seen. It's a circa 1946 Pepsi. Everything seems to be broken and it's a little too modern so I'm gonna go someplace older. Okay, we got what I think is a boarding house or a hotel privy right here. A lot of stuff in the way. Giant metal strip here. Big rock. Barely getting any dirt coming out. But that is an early piece right there. Looks like a flask from about 1904. Then this piece of a soda. Looks like it's from around 1910 or 11. Getting this giant rock out of here. Probably smashed everything under it though. Barely a foot deep. I've already found quite a lot of early glass. It's looking like 1900 to 1905. And there is the first bottle intact. It's about as ordinary as you can imagine a slick pharmacy. But look at that. Aqua strap sided flask from the 1890s. Like we have possibly a whole bottle. Could be a soda, but probably a beer. Okay, what is it? Oh, it's broken anyway. Just a plain old beer. Okay, finally something with embossing. And it's kind of a thing you could expect to find in just about any city in America. I've seen these in Arizona, Southern California, and now in Florida. Yeah, we do have an old hole here. Not even two feet deep yet. I'm getting stuff that looks like it's from about 1895. Another broken aqua strap-sided whiskey. And we have this. Is it whole? Wait and see. It's gotta be whole, I can't get it out. Okay, trying again. Alright, well, olive green, possibly black glass in some people's opinion. Not really worth much, even though it's from the 1800s. Yeah, that's got to be a quart. It looks pretty big. I don't know anything about embossed whiskeys from Florida, but there ought to be some in here. Whether there's any survivors or not, I don't know. And here we got another slick beer with no top. And we got some honey amber. Looks like a half pint flask. And another half pint flask. This one looks really old. Haven't seen any embossing yet. It's definitely not a privy because I'm already hitting the bottom at about two foot four inches. And it just keeps going to every side. And here's another bottle. Okay. Another plain beer. It's pretty old. Okay, getting some different style flasks out now. This is a shoe fly. And then we got this. Could have been embossed. That's a nice heavy one there. And we got a couple beer tops showing here. And I 
Got a beer sticking out here. Of course it's broken, but it's okay because it doesn't say anything on it anyway. I can't find any of the walls. This hole just keeps going and going. I got two more beers showing right here. So hopefully we'll find an embossed one. Is there such thing as embossed Florida beers? We'll see. Will I be able to pull it out yet? No, it's broken. What about the other one? It's not ready yet. Okay, I'm trying it again. Okay. It's not embossed as always. It's a cleaner type of glass. Might get three and a half dollars for it. And yet another aqua whiskey top. Where's all the whole ones of those? And we got something that's probably a mineral water. Won't come out yet. And another one. It's got a bit of a green tint to it. Okay, now I think it's ready to come out. Probably shouldn't do this unless you know it's unembossed. Hmm. Well, it's pretty early looking. It's the olive green glass from England. Well, at least it's all in one piece. And another one of these aqua tops. But here's a nice drippy amber one. See how crude that one is? That's 1893 or older. Okay, got something coming out. Well, I thought it was ready, but not quite. There's a piece of a pumpkin seed, and it's aqua. Don't see that color very often. And when you do, it's usually from 1916. Is this ready yet? Hmm, another one of these olive green bottles. Look at this. Is that a demijohn neck or just a very large whiskey? Could it actually be intact with everything being broken in this hole just about? Okay, this one's definitely ready to come out. And I remember finding these in California quite often. We call them the mineral water from the 1890s. I was just about to start tearing at that, thinking whatever it is, it was broken, but it looks like it's a five-sided pepper sauce, or six-sided. Okay, it's about ready to come out now. Check it out. I haven't found one of these in quite a while, probably 10 years, and it's intact, possibly from the 1870s. Yeah, you don't see these every day. Of course it has a chip on the bottom because I chipped it pretty bad, but still sitting on a shelf like that. It looked just fine. Well, it wasn't a demijohn. It's just a big whiskey neck. I just found something really amazing. A honey amber shoe fly flask. Have you ever seen such a thing? Truly honey amber. Can't say you've ever seen one in 30 years. Finally a hutch came out. Of course it's broken. And it's not from Florida. It's from Pennsylvania. Why would that be here? That's a thousand miles away. Honey amber flask again. There's another, probably a quart size piece. Okay, there's another hutch piece. Don't know what the front said. Here's another hutch piece. Can barely see any embossing on it. But there it is. And here's a top of one. And what else have we got? Oh, yeah. 
some kind of uh, cherry bitters from Dayton or Canton, Ohio, perhaps. And I got a neck of a beer right there. And I got one of these. Okay, I think it's ready to come out. And of course, another no name. And of course, this is definitely going to say nothing because I've never seen an embossed mineral water of this style before. Okay, I got three bottles sticking out. And one of them looks like a flask. Could it be the first intact one in here? Sure looks like it. Well, it was broken after all. So, I still got these two and yet another one showed up. Oh, that one's broken. I'm gonna make that into a broken one. Oh no. Found another hutch, but of course it's broken also. Does it say anything? Yeah, I see a slug plate. Hmm. Somethingville. But there's just not enough to work with. Unless you're an expert at local Florida hutches, this might very well be one. Could be a Jackson. As if you needed to see yet another beer coming out. I actually found a lot more and didn't film them. Well, we're just about finished with this haul. And here is a variety of a High Springs, Florida. There's four of these listed on hutchbook.com. So, I wish I could have shown you me digging this one out. Let me wash it up and we'll see how good it looks. Well, there it is. It's a clear mug base hutch.